Hey, what's up everybody? Lewis here for IGN Tech. I'm joined today by Shen with HTC and we're taking a look at the Vive virtual reality headset. So you guys just updated the headset with a camera in the front. Could you talk a little bit about that? It's a front-facing camera mm -hmm. and as you saw, it um, allows you to have a peek into the real world mm -hmm. without having to take off the headset and break the immersion. So um, you can have a look and see if there's anyone in the room. Um, you can check your phone if you really wanted to, I yeah. guess. One, one of the things that we found is that when you set up the hard bounds inside your play area, mm -hmm. um, sometimes it will be like a table in the way, right? Mm -hmm. And you want to know if you can extend your controllers past it. Mm -hmm. um, so that actually gives you a look at what your obstructions are, so you can actually safely move across the, uh, move through your um, hard boundaries mm -hmm. without you know damaging anything. So what sets the HTC Vive apart from its competitor like the Rift and the Gear VR and headsets like that? So the one thing that we find is uh, really crucial for good VR, high-end VR, mm -hmm. is that uh, the full room scale 360 experience. Mm -hmm. So you can walk around the 15 by 15 feet area with one-to-one -one controllers and we find that is that just provides a breathtakingly immersive experience. Do you see this more of being a consumer product or maybe something for like professionals to use in, a, in an artistic or medical way, having that virtual reality and being able to man manipulate objects in VR before doing it in the real world? So, so Vive, um, it's, 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 you can have it, you can have both, right? Mm -hmm. So we'll have, there'll definitely be consumers, there'll be gamers, mm -hmm. especially, because they're the ones with the high-end PCs already. Mm -hmm. um, and you, um, and yeah, there'll be games. Um, we'll have a lot of titles with, um, with our launch. Mm -hmm. Uh, we also ha are working with loads of business partners. So say Audi, they're having a showroom experience. We have so many partners around CES right now, yeah. and they're all showing how, off how they can use Vive for different things. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, uh, Dassault Systems, uh, they're working with how to get Connect, mm -hmm. working with Vive, and you can do similar to how Tilt Brush as well. Mm -hmm. um, and basically, anything you can, you can imagine right now in VR can be done. Um, so the limitation really is our imagination. Yeah. So it's like having the holodeck in your house. Exactly. Awesome. So one of the big things uh, at CS this year was that the Oculus Rift pricing was announced. And a lot of people are complaining that it's expensive, but it's a first gen product and it's going to be expensive for a while before it's democratized. Do you think this, do you think that the vibe is for the top gamers that already have rigs that are built for this? Or do you think it's more uh, for everybody to, to have and try? Um, I, I think it's more for a lot of people to try. So um, you don't need the top high-end rigs. We, we're mm. running off laptops. Uh, you can have um, medium-end uh, medium sy uh, systems. Uh -huh. So like we have some PCs running off like 970s. Okay. Not, not very expensive cards. Yeah. So these aren't out of reach, especially there are so many people who are waiting for VR to come out and they can upgrade just their graphics card and they can get it working. Awesome. So um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not just for high-end gaming. You can do it for so many things. Cool, awesome. So that was the HTC Vive. And for all things VR and HTC Vive, stay tuned to IGN.